I'm investing $7,000 into my retirement account in the stock market, and this is one of the stocks I am choosing. Welcome to part two, guys. Today, we're talking about another REIT, the REIT, some would say, ticker. Oh, this is Realty Income Corp, the monthly dividend paying REIT. Um, I love Realty Income. It's one of my favorites. We're going to talk about a few things really quick. It's going to be a shorter video because I've talked about Realty Income a lot. It's one of my all-time favorite stocks. If I could only own one stock, it might be Realty Income because of their consistent dividend history. And we're going to go into a lot of that. They're monthly paying, like I said, which is phenomenal. And they're actually a little bit sold off currently. We can see that on the six-month chart. They're actually down almost 11%. And basically what happened was they acquired um, a Spirit Realty, another Realty company, and so they overtook it and now they own it. And since then, the stock has performed relatively well. It went up 20%. Um, sitting at just over 17.5%, but we are still pretty far down from this nice high of over $60. Looking on the one-year chart, we can see it did fall even higher, $70, and their five-year and their max chart. The max chart is beautiful. It does show that they are in a dip, which is why I'm really anxious to buy some soon, maybe on a down day, but I do like Realty Income a lot. Now, let's look at their dividend history. We're going to use SeekingAlpha.com. Now, scrolling down, we can see that they did have a dividend increase in October of 2021, another one in, let's see, they did all the way till February 2023. So they have been increasing their dividend quite nicely. And again, it is a monthly payer. Um, their dividend score, honestly, the dividend history, we can see it. So every single month, they're not increasing it every single month, but it is regularly paid out monthly. And these increases are just beautiful. The increases are not super significant. I would say we can see fractions um, of a cent, but still I do like that they are increasing it and that they have been continuing to do so for so long. They are a dividend aristocrat, I believe. Let's see, 25 years of, yes, um, consecutive dividend growth, 25 years of consecutive dividend payments when the sector median is only eight years. Jumping back to their stock, we actually can see that their market cap is 40 billion. They are, I believe, the largest REIT um, real estate investment trust for those of you that may be new. And that comes with a lot of leeway. You can do a lot of things when you are the largest re people like larger companies because it feels more secure, even though it's not always the case. But when it comes to really the income, um, I just love this company. So of course I'm biased. I own it in like three or four different accounts. We're going to jump over and look at their financials from September of this year. We see their revenue was up 24% year over year. Net income was up, diluted EPS, um, net profit margin was down as well, operating income up 32%, net change in cash up 660%, uh, cost of revenue up a little bit. They did beat earnings uh, per share and revenue by 5% and 4%, which is pretty insane from that really bad miss in June of 2023. Since then, you know, they've been performing a little bit better, but the overall price is not looking too hot. Again, we go to the last six months, it was sitting at $64, $65, and has since then fallen down a little bit. So we're gonna go to their dividend scorecard, again on Seeking Alpha. Forward annual payout is $3.07 a share, currently about $50 a share. Payout ratio is 75%, Mwah, that is beautiful. Five-year growth rate is a little bit low for me, 3.67%, but 25 years of consecutive dividend growth, that's why the growth rate is gonna be a little bit lower. They've been doing this for a long time. And so the percentages of what you can raise your dividend over time, um, less lessen over time, of course, because you can't continue to raise by 5% over and over every single year because it compounds and then boom, um, you just can't, you can't afford that as a company. But I do like that. They have that five-year growth rate over 3% and the dividend, the forward dividend yield is 5.7% currently. Um, like I said, I've, I've done a couple of videos on Realty Income. I have a how many shares video that did relatively well. If you guys are interested in that, I will link that down below. Go check out that one. We do how many shares of Realty Income do you need to own to make um, $500 a month, which I love. We're gonna jump over to realtyincome.com, uh, their portfolio. So this is what I mean when I say it's huge. 85 separate industries, 1,300 different clients. Their portfolio occupancy, 98.8%. I like it to be a little bit higher, but because they have so many commercial properties, I understand that the more you have, I, the percentage of things to go wrong or to have vacant properties does probably uh, increase a little bit. You can't manage everything as tightly as these really small companies that have four or five properties or even a thousand, but still 13,250 properties, um, commercial properties under long-term net lease agreements. 
as of 9:30. So it is a couple months old. We can see they're spread all over um, Alaska. The U.S. is a main one. They have a ton in Florida, not a ton in California, um, but a lot. Ohio has a ton. A lot of interesting spots. Texas, 1,600 properties in Texas, 10% alone. It's more than in Spain. It's more than in Italy, where they have seven properties. And the U.K. 12.3% Ireland, you know, so they are spread out quite a bit. You can go through and read this guys. I'll link it in the video description down below. Um, it's just a really, it's a, it's a solid dividend stock with a solid dividend uh, yield. 5% is pretty unheard of. I know that might not seem like a lot when you compare it to Jeppy or other ones that are paying 10%, but all in all, it's pretty phenomenal. So let's calculate exactly what you would make if you had $5,000 and you started investing, let's we'll say in 2024, um, you're not going to add anything monthly. The annual yield was what? 5.65%. We're going to do no dividend growth, no annual share price growth, even though we know the dividend growth rate is about 3.5. Um, number of years one, max dividend yield, it's going to be that 5.65%. Um, using dividend, uh, trackyourdividends.com, love this. So we can see over the one year, you're going to have about $283 in dividends. 283 off that 5,000 is insane. Um, that does not seem like a lot. You're also going to factor in share price value. That could be a positive or a negative if the share price drops. But $283 just by having your $5,000 invested in there is pretty insane. Now, where it really gets insane is when we start upping the amount. If you had $50,000, you'd be making $2,825 in dividends a year. You're going to lose a portion of that to taxes, um, but still... It's pretty phenomenal. I it, it is a solid dividend paying stock. People get scared with, with higher yielding stocks. So this is like the perfect median for me because I like a little bit of higher risk stock at the same time, but I don't like throwing away my money. So it has a solid dividend history. Um, dividend increases. The portfolio is beautiful. It's huge. $40 billion uh, market cap. There's a lot that I like about Realty Income. A couple things that you know they can work on a little bit. Um, these acquisitions can be a little scary, can scare investors away, but I don't know what you guys think down below. Is putting a thousand dollars into realty income a mistake? Should I not do this? Is there a different read I should do? Our last video was on ABR in this series, putting a thousand dollars into ABR as well. So we will see how that goes. ABR is a lot riskier, a smaller company, but with a higher dividend yield, about 11% dividend yield, I want to say, somewhere around there. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in this content, and I will see you in the next one.